right, last stop, the Garden. Jalen Brunson and the New York Knicks hosting the Oklahoma City Thunder. We're picking this up with under four minutes left here. The Knicks trail by three. Brunson, the ball stays alive, and he's able to nail the three. Tie game at 104, Zach Lowe. Jalen Brunson, what an incredible story. Clutch shot after clutch shot. And this guy, get to know and the love of America, J-Dub Jalen Williams. He's a stud. He absolutely is. The Thunder up by three. 12 seconds left. The Knicks down by one. Jalen Brunson blows past Chet Holmgren. He wanted to be called for the and one there, Zach. I think I'm kind of okay with that being a no call. It looks like a foul when he falls over. He falls over a lot. I think I might be okay with that as a no call. Sorry, Knicks fans. The Knicks up by one. You think that that might be it. However. You don't think that might be it. This dude is an absolute killer. A killer. Unanimous MVP, you yeah. said? No <laughs> way. I have him as my MVP, honestly. You have Shea Gilgis Alexander as your MVP. I do. All right, well, last chance for the New York Knicks. 1.8 on the clock. This is the guy you want to have the ball. Brunson <laughs> couldn't quite get it to go. That noise. He finished with 30 points. The Knicks lose a heartbreaker. OKC, though, clinched a playoff spot last night. And according to ESPN Analytics, the Thunder currently have a 48% chance to get that one seed, something they haven't done since Big Perk was an OKC. While the Timberwolves and Nuggets, they each have a 26% chance to finish with the top spot. As for the Knicks, could help be on the way? Well, here's Josh Hart. This is a team that we're going to have. You know, uh, you know I, I think that's how, you know, we have to approach it, you know, that, that those guys, um, you know, aren't coming back. And then obviously we'll be pleasantly surprised if they come back. Adrian Wojnarowski back with us here. And Josh Hart, he seems resigned to the fact that OG Ananobi, Julius Randle, they are not walking through the door anytime soon. Is he right, though? What are their timelines to return? Malika, let's set aside Julius Randle for a moment. Nothing has changed on him. He's not been cleared for contact yet. But OG Ananobi, listen, I'm told that the Knicks, they want that elbow, which had a loose body taken out of it uh, at, at the trade deadline. Early February, he came back, played a couple of games, and then went out again. They don't want him in and out of the lineup. They want uh, that injury, the inflammation, uh, the irritation to, to go away. And that when they bring OG Ananobi back, he can stay back. And they've got certainly a, a look at the big picture of having him healthy, ready, uh, hopefully for uh, the postseason. That doesn't mean he won't come back during the regular season, uh, but they don't want him in and out of the lineup. Uh, and this is an organization right now that wants to play it safe with Ananobi. They're 15 and two in New York mm. in games he's played this season since that trade from the Raptors. Woj, thank you so very much. Certainly, OG Ananobi has missed his fair share of games over the last several years. So this is something that the Knicks knew when they traded for him. Still, as Woj said, 15 and two, they want this guy back. But as much as I know you've been high on the Knicks, and as much as I know, Danny, you enjoy the Knicks, there is no bigger body supporter of Jalen Brunson. <laughs> out of the east yeah. uh, east of madison square garden than you kendrick perkins so if injury questions continue to hang over new york as we head into the playoffs do you think that jalen brunson he can still lead this Knicks team to an eastern conference finals which is where you set uh their bar not too long ago yes why yes. is he whispering it that means that, yeah that, that means i'm not saying it with confidence and with my chest poked yes. out but I'm going to go down with this ship if it happened to sink on me believing in Jalen Brunson and him leading this New York Knicks team, even without OG and Anobi and Julius Randle to the conference finals. Listen, the New York, the, right now the East is wide open. If they could stay away from the Boston Celtics, I believe that Jalen Brunson has the capability of dominating any series. We saw, look, individually, we saw a small sample size of this this past weekend. We saw what, what uh, Victor Wembanyama had to do in order to knock off J Big Body Brunson historical 61 performance. We saw last night him go against a tough Oklahoma City Thunder team and SGA had to hit a game winner. Well, I'm looking in the East and I'm looking at how Jalen Brunson has been delivering. If those others, Josh Hart, uh, Hardenstein, you know, uh, Alex Burke, if they could just elevate their game just a little bit, mm. they still got a fighting chance to make, a, make noise and compete in the East to make it to the conference finals. Yes. I'm with you on this one, Big Perk. Um, Jalen Brunson's special. Some guys just know how to win, and he gets it done, regardless of who's on the floor or not. He's going to figure out a way. Only if they can avoid Boston. They can beat Milwaukee. They can beat Philly. 
Cleveland, teams like that. But if they end up facing Boston before the Eastern Conference Finals, then they'll probably be going home without those guys. But of those other teams, I think Jalen Bruns is special enough to beat them, not by himself, but he can lead his team to beat those guys. A lot of ifs from these people. A lot of ifs. If There's ifs, whispers. If ifs were fifths, we'd all be drunk. Yeah. Isn't that what Perch says? <laughs> I got no ifs. They're not getting to the conference finals without OG and OB and Julius Randle. If they, that you're saying they're going to beat either the Bucks or the Celtics in the second round as presently constituted. I love this team. I love their fight. I love Jalen Brunson, who's making a case not just for All-NBA, but for that fifth spot on the first team All-NBA. I don't think he's going to get there, but he's making a case. I love everything about him. I love Tibbs. I love the toughness. They played eight guys yesterday, essentially. For how many minutes? Six of them played more than 12 minutes. Mm. I don't know what kind of fumes these dudes are going to be running on when the playoffs start, but poor Deuce McBride and Josh Hart need a night off. I just don't think they have enough firepower without both Ananobi and Randall to beat Milwaukee or definitely not Boston in the series. Now, if they got Ananobi back, that might change the equation because I think he fits perfectly. I think he actually might be more important to their team than Randall is, but I just wish we could see them all healthy because they were rolling and rampaging over everybody, and they were that team with everybody was a threat not just to make the conference finals, but yep. to be a pain against Boston in the conference finals. Jalen Brunson has been breathtaking all season long. It has been so much fun mm -hmm. to watch him. I, he is inching towards the category of, well, you don't really want to bet against Jalen Brunson because just when you do, he's going to surprise you. However, watching down the stretch of that game, when you're asking a six-foot guard to operate and score in the paint the way that, that you're asking him to without a Julius Randle and some of these other guys, it's getting a little bit tricky when you start to look at some of those matchups. And as Woj just said, right now it looks like OG Ananobi could be on a better track, a track to be back sooner than Julius Randle. And they need their full complement of guys if they're going to make a serious run in a crowded Eastern Conference.